Hello world of YouTube. Today is going to be a rather different day than uh, what I would usually do. Because the last video I did was about catching lizards and exploring around my friend's house. But today, we'll be drawing. And what we'll be drawing today is dinosaurs and some other cool stuff. I got four pieces of paper with me. As you can see, but let's just use one piece of paper for now. And what I want to start off with is, gonna, hmm, what should we draw? First, I'm going to draw a dinosaur. I'm going to start off with my favorite, Spinosaurus. And I usually do that. That's a little bit too big right there. And I can do, and I do something like that. And that's how I start the head. And then, there you go. You just make a, ra a little bit of a curve. And then you just do some bumpy lines. Like that. Then you do that. And you take it like this. You just take that all the way around, and then you do that. And that's how you do the head. We could just add some teeth. That. I like to do that for like, I don't know what that actually is. It's like when they open their mouth, that stretches out, kind of like a lizard or a crocodile, something like that. And that's what I usually do. And finally, for like probably the second to last part of the head, you go like this. And you just coast it around and then bring it like that. And you can do something like that. And there we go. We can just do a little nose right here because the Spinosaurus had its nose all the way up here instead of being at the end, like right there. And then, you could just take it like this. And do that. Curve right there. I think I made it a little too, like, thick, but that might, that's okay. You could just do that. And now it's time for the sail. You could just do something like this. And that's what I usually do. Something like that. As you can see. Then you take it like this. And we go like this. 
curve that curve curve and then like this there we go we just do that for now and then we just take it like this And there we go, and then I do that, and it looks like it has two only two fingers, but I do this. I do that sometimes. And that's how I do that. And then, just do that. And then we can go like this. And then we can do a little bit of a... And that's... How I usually do my stuff in my Spinosaurus. This is probably not my best Spinosaurus. I've done better ones. Um, and I don't have them with me right now. Now let's go on to our next piece of paper. This one. Okay, now what are we going to do? Hmm, let's think. Oh, I have an idea. Let's make the Grim Reaper. One of my favorite things to draw. Just doing the hood. Like that. And then take an arm and then just like that. And then like that. I'm just making the outline right now. There. Well, that might be a little bit too big. So I'm just going to erase that and make it a little bit smaller. We can take it like that. And then, um, we do that. And there we go. Kind of like that. And that is supposed to be the start of the hand. And we just make something like this. 
we can also also we can also start on this hand. There we go. That hand. Now we can do more stuff like this. There we go. That's how I usually do that. I think it's pretty cool. Now we need to start doing something like that. There we go. That's the hood. And then And then we do that. It's kind of been a long time since I've drawn this guy, so pretty sure I do that. I mean, the last time I drew this guy, or I drew a Grim Reaper, was like at Halloween. Good. I like that. Pretty nice. Pretty simple. Also, you can do like stuff like this for like showing blood. Like that, and there you go. That's how you draw this guy. Pretty simple. I like doing stuff like this to show that it's like wrinkled and like his clothing is wrinkled and stuff. Just a little bit. And there we go. We also do some around here, like around his hood. We can also add something like that. Lines like that to show the neck a little bit. We also color this in black because that's not a part of his head. There we go. Okay. Now, on to us.
our third piece of paper. Okay. Mm, I don't know. Let's see. Let's draw. Hmm. I actually don't know what we should draw. Hmm. Maybe a lizard. Let's start off with its head. Like that. Like you're looking from the top of him. And this goes all the way down through to the tail. And that's how long it's going. Then we can start off with Sometimes I have to turn the paper And then we go like that. We make a little bit of a belly. And then we make another leg. We can do that because it's from the top, so you do that. And then you can finish the tail. Like that. And I made that this like a little fat. Okay. And that's basically how you do it. You could add a little bit of spikes. Anything you want because lizards have lizards are unique. And they have special, like, scales, and they can have them poking out from their side and stuff. But it won't usually hurt you if they have scales poking from their side. And that's how you draw a lizard. Okay, guys, this is the end of the video. And just be sure to sub to Lizardmen and to Death Boy and Glitch King XD. And, re and remember to leave a like there. Okay, goodbye.